Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this week's edition of My Testimony. Now, in this program, we take time to analyze a few from the many thousands of miracles that God is working out through the hands of Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. And I am sure that today's program will go a long way in appeasing the millions of international viewers for our Christ TV channel. Their cry has always been, why are you not giving us time to also share our testimonies? We also have testimonies in this part of the world, in that part of the world. Today, our guest on the program is Mr. Bongani Msimango, all the way from South Africa. Let's welcome him. Let's welcome him. This man has got a powerful testimony. He has a powerful testimony. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you. Please be seated. Finally, you've had the chance to share your testimony. I know you've been yearning for an opportunity to do that. That's true, man of God. Now, we would just like to know, I understand you went through a difficult time health-wise. Can you just explain to the audience and to our viewers what happened? Uh, greetings to the saints. Uh, thank you, man. Uh, in 2013, uh, I was hospitalized because of a problem of a urinary problem. Uh, I work as a, a policeman in uh, South Africa uh, in a dog unit. I was okay, uh, we had to do trainings and stuff, I was healthy and everything. But when I got hospitalized uh, with a urinary problem, uh, I had to be hospitalized for a long time because I couldn't pass urine. And uh, I was on catheter for a long time and uh, they gave me medication and stuff. Sorry, was this uh, due to some exposure during the course of your work? Yes, man of God, it is uh, uh, exposure to say, certain uh, infections during our course of work, what we have to do, dangers, and uh, which involve getting shot at, uh, going through uh, swampy areas where there is a lot of uh, bacteria and stuff. Uh, other than being involved in accident, but that was another factor which was dead where we had to do our duties there. Okay, so it's the environment that you are working in. That's the environment. We have to, we have to do a lot of bushworks uh, uh, where we are get exposed to maybe tick bus during this time of the year. Uh, also, when we chasing uh, the suspect, uh, going through the bushy swamps where sewage works and stuff, that's where you contact all these uh, bacteria and diseases. Okay, so because I understand obviously that it's the dog that determines the path, not the police officer, right? That's, the, that's true, man of God. They got more powerful senses than us. They, they, they guide us to where we should go. They know where the suspect has gone. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so then you just found out you don't know exactly when you got the exactly infection. Exactly, you don't you know when did you contacted the disease, but when you feel your body feels uh, 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 the stress now, you think the only thing you think of is just go see the doctor, get the injection, and then you'll be okay. But it got worse in such a way that I couldn't pass urine. I had to be admitted in a hospital in a very bad uh, situation. I was start losing weight and all this stuff. 
and what, what, what were the doctors saying about that? Actually, the doctors, uh, oh, as they said, it's only the infection. Uh, the bladder infection, but they couldn't tell me, they just gave me injections and uh, medications and say oh, it will be okay, it will be okay. But at a certain time I had to use, uh, they, they put the catheter in so I can pass the urine. I had to use uh, diapers, like a little baby now. Our top cop all of a sudden <laughs> was using diapers. <laughs> I had to be like a little baby using diapers because uh, I couldn't control the urine. Wow, wow, uh, wow. It happens that uh, my wife always uh, watched uh, uh, Christ TV while I was in the hospital. Uh, she said no. <laughs> she was watching Christ she was watching Christ TV and praying for me while I was in the hospital uh, because she was very much worried about my health. Because I wasn't feeling any better, so I said, no, uh, on, on, on 2014, uh, in February, I don't know what happened because I was like, uh, the, 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 the sickness was getting worse. I was losing my mind and everything, losing more weight than I ever thought. I was getting more weak, more weak, more weak. This is now in 2014. That was in 2014, uh, February. Uh, that was last year. So the medication was not working. This, this, this is what we can conclude. Uh, man of God, I can say it couldn't help uh, me much because I still had problems like uh, holding on to the re urine, controlling urine. I was still using uh, those diapers. Uh, Hold it right there. We understand that your wife is with us today. She came along with you. Yes, yes, man of God, she's here. Okay. Let me welcome the lady of our top cop to come through. Madam, welcome to my testimony. Please be seated. Thank you, man of God. All right, before you can tell us what happened, what you saw, let's take a short break. We will be right back after these messages.